Biggest strength in the kitchen would be, I guess, teamwork, like being a good partner. Um, I make sure that everyone is on track, make sure that we have everything planned out in time. So the preparation, we get everything done. So everything is done appropriate and then we can be able to ask the chef questions. You know, like if we haven't done anything before, um, I can talk to him about how it's supposed to turn out and we can plan ahead on what's getting plated with what and when is it going to go out first, what am I going to cook first and what order, what takes the longest to cook, so the preparation is done. The difference is you have more than one mind and more, I'm saying, especially if you're not a creative person and you have more ideas that come about, especially if you don't know what to do. And then a lot of people have done things before, had them, so they know how they're supposed to be. And based on that information, you can learn from that person on how to create something and how it's supposed to be done, whether the texture, the color, the flavor, um, the correct amount of seasoning that you're supposed to have and everything. And it just helps out a lot because if you're not, if you don't have anyone with you, then you just have a lot of questions, and some people are afraid to ask questions, and so they just try to figure out things on their own, and they might mess up. But it's better to have someone that has their knowledge there, so that way you can succeed at it. I love chicken, and I love sauces, and um, like I actually had it two times. I didn't have it until I first came here at school. Um, I really loved it because I love making sauces, and then. When I got the chance to make it, like, you can use it on different things. Like, it's a variety of things. You don't just have it on the chicken. And out of everything, like, I just love sauces, period. No matter what kind of sauce, like, as long as it's something that complements the dish, like, I'm for it. I think the best way to work in the kitchen, especially this kitchen, would be the restaurant style, is because we actually get the feel of how we'll be in the real world when we go out and get a job or if we run our own business, which is exactly what I want to do. So for me to practice what I'm going to do actually later will actually help me and help me get the speed and everything I need to know that's behind doors, in the back of the house, and in front of the house. To me, just period, um, learning everything and being able to graduate would be my biggest success because like no one in my family has stuck to anything and actually graduated. It's either they switched the major or they dropped out of college, dropped out of high school and never went or I'm the first one that graduated and actually went straight to college. Like either they're just now going back to get their GED or they just haven't went to school at all. It influenced me by um, I would say go back to high school when that's when I first realized that I wanted to cook. We had a lot of cooks in the family, and um, I took food for the family. It's a course that we had to take um, where it's just cooking and stuff like that, and you get to know things. And I enjoyed it, but it was a lot of things that I didn't understand. And coming here, getting to know everything, and learning new terms and new cooking methods and everything, that really helped me out because I didn't know anything like that I thought I did and it just proved me wrong and I love challenges so anytime something proved me wrong, it, it's just, I'm happy about it. Like, I mean, I'm getting to learn new things that I never did before. My mom always told me just something that you love to do on a day-to-day -day basis, um, like, Different jobs that I have, I don't be in retail, fast food, and stuff like that. And it's nothing that I find like to have a career out of. And it's not something that I enjoy. And I don't like to, I really don't like to work for no one. That's why I really want to own my own business. But I know that eventually I will have to work to someone to get to where I need to be. But the preparation, you have to think, of, think ahead and plan it out. You gotta make sure you have your recipe cards. Um, you understand a recipe before you go into it. Like you know which methods, what steps to take when you do it and you need to know the equipment that you need. Everything needs to be in order and then it needs to be organized once you get your mise en place together. So therefore you can go straight into the recipe and you just have to follow the procedures. And then whenever, you need to know the right amount of cooking time. When would be the best time to turn it off, when to reheat it or 
when would be the right time to plate it and how are you going to plate it so that way you can get it out within a decent amount of time. It's a good quality of food and it's still hot or it's cold like it's supposed to be. Well, I love food. I love to eat it. Um, so, I mean, I go, I go out to eat all the time, so I see different styles of food and um, stuff like that, but here it allows me to experience, um, especially the different regions and stuff that we go over that I never had before. And for me to try new things, I love it and I get to work with it and I'm really not a creative person but it helps me get in touch with that creative side and I just learn from there. Learn how to get creative with food and try things and because here is really just practice. Um, and then the more practice that I get, it just prepares me for when I do get that job um, so I know exactly what to do and how to be creative and how to please everyone and myself. I figure it would be a lifestyle because it's a it's in everyday life, like you have to cook every day, you have to eat, and it's something that I can do at home, I can do it um, as a business, or I can do it at school, I can do it anywhere.